Uh, hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Jason James here. I'm just going to go through some uh, CS6 stuff. So, uh, one of the popular things that uh, people want nowadays is 3D text and putting 3D text in a scene or a graphic or uh, what have you. And uh, we're, we're just going to show you real quick how to do that. And I'm just going to go up here. You just open a new comp. You do that through composition. New composition right here. This little window will pop up. Give it a name. And choose your aspect ratio, your frame rate, such and you know, so forth and so on. After that, just click OK. You should get a black background. Nothing there, right? This is good. You're off to a good start. So, um, so let's say I want to do. Um, we're in CS6. Let's say. Let's capitalize that. So, um, CS6. <clears throat> now, from there, I want to. Um, uh, let's get rid of that it's an empty layer. Now from there, I'm going to twirl down my text options, and you can do that with these little triangles. And basically, you can transform your text. And we want to bump this up. We got that. Real basic, right? So next thing you want to do is go to this little box. It's your 3D box. Or you can um, switch to 3D. No, you don't want to do that. Do this. Anyway, you can go to 3D layer right here, and that'll do that. Or just click the little box right there off and on just like that so once you do that you have a 3d layer and my computer is starting to slow down already uh, your computer will slow down no matter what kind of computer you have or how fast it is or whatnot um, using the extrusion tools in CS6 will slow you down a little bit so uh, I do want to go to ray traced and that's up in this little corner right here so I choose my choose my uh, text I want to um, ray trace or extr extrude 3d uh, these settings all look good um, let's go to basic frame rate and that's still my comp setting so whoops I click cancel okay I'm just gonna get boot off the stage here real quick uh, just hit okay uh, and then from there you're going to get some options and your options are material options uh, ge ge uh, geometric options and of course your transform scale position rotation stuff like that okay real quick uh, exclusion we're interested in ge uh, the geometrical options if you will uh, geometry and all that neat stuff which is cool nothing wrong with that um, I liked school but math wasn't my uh, strong, strongest subject. Now you're going to extrude your depth. Okay. Not a lot semi passing by. Okay. <clears throat> Not a lot has happened here. And I'm still waiting for this to catch up to me. Okay. Here we go. And nothing's really been done I mean you can't really tell unless I turn this with my 3d option um, up here or just click W on your keyboard and then turn it it'll automatically go to that little uh, 3d space thing um, another thing real quick after it's done choking you're just gonna see it's extruded but it's white there's really no light on this as you can see um, doesn't really define the edges in the uh, inside of the um, the text. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new light. Um, where is it? Layer. Go to light and add new light, and then pick a color, whatever color you want. Maybe gold or you know anything but white would be great. Green. I haven't tried green yet. Let's try green. But a lot of things with After Effects you're going to have to do is learn the basics, learn, you know, how to get the ray traced, you know, open up a new account, type something on the computer, go up to your ray trace 3D option right up here. So you can get that, twirl down your options. Again, you're going to go to geometric options here, or geometry options. Go to uh, extrude your depth, and then ramp that up, you know, however thick you want your stuff. But again... Uh, once you do that, your computer is going to slow down considerably, and I have this on half render rate. I can go to a third, maybe it'll be a little bit faster. But um, again, you know, you're just going to want to play around with the lighting, 
um, you know, all that stuff. Green is the Incredible Hulk. Cool. The Avengers film. I think they're going to do a better one next time, but the Hulk was really neat. Uh, characters were cool. Um, but, I, you know, I feel like that kind of stuff. It's kind of neat. Okay, so now we have um, your light on the text, which looks way better. You can actually see, you know, what the light is doing. And even if I, I add, you know, add a background to it, like say a solid background, let's do that real quick. New layer. Go to solid and then do like, yeah, slight gray or, you know, however you want to, you know, whatever color you want to contrast with it. Hit OK. Good. Up, oh, it's on the top, so it's not going to really do anything. I have to move this down to the bottom for me to see my top layers and let that uh, render out okay so here we are uh, we've got uh, this uh, CS6 text in 3D extrusion so I can move um, this text around I can um, orientation uh, I can move it around like this you know and the lights can hit that again just waiting for that to render out but anyway let's fast forward to some other stuff I've done this is another one I've I did uh, with the light and the background and some shadowing in the background too so you can do all this stuff too with it um, we're just basically taking this background and adding light to it looks really cool it's nice it's sharp and uh, these are the things we have to do again uh, before we did 3d text we had to take the text and make layer 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 you had to like 30 40 layers deep and we had to you know compress those all together which is a time-consuming tedious process so here's another one I did with uh, uh, again a ray trace 3 uh, 3d extracted text um, maybe I'll just go to the video how's that here you go let's go to uh, here it is. I'll just show you the MOV file because it's uh, pre-rendered out and it'll play nice and smooth for you here. So here's this, and, you know, and that's what Pocket Cine. We made Dirty Bomb movie. Uh, we call it Pocket Cine because we want to um, basically have it available on uh, portable devices. As you can see here, here's our graphic on. A iPod Touch, which is kind of neat. So we're just doing different things, playing around with stuff. And hey, you never know what's going to work. You know, you just got to get out there and start shooting stuff and creating a story. So, and you can find out more about DirtyBombMovie.com. Just go to that, and uh, go to our Facebook uh, page, Dirty Bomb Movie, on Facebook, and you know, like us. You'll see all kinds of photos and really cool stuff. Um, here, let's just go right to it. How's that? So here's my page, and then here's Dirty Bomb Movie. Again, you might you might have to type this out. Me, I have I have it already in here. So, and then there's our character Raymond Paul, is played by Matthew, and then uh, Mila Gates, this gun right here. She's about to shoot him. We're not sure, but you'll have to watch the film and find out for yourself. But again, you're gonna see all kinds of behind the scenes uh, things that go along with the film. Uh, the graphics and stuff we did for uh, the bomb that went off in Detroit, Michigan. So, um, you know, things like that. So, really cool action film if you're into that kind of thing. We even got a sci fi element. This guy right here is our sci fi guy. Uh, his name is Seth Virtus. So, it's kind of neat. And then, um, again, go to YouTube, which is this page right here. <clears throat> And you can check all that stuff out. So you can see our trailer. You can see, you know, behind the scenes, how we did stuff, some graphic work we're doing. Also, we're going to do some tutorials. Uh, just, you know, nothing major, but we just want to show you just some of the stuff that we used in our film and um, how it all kind of collaborates all together and, and um, how we're using stuff to make a film with no budget. So that's kind of what we're doing. So I'll get off that. And it's up to you. Go, go ahead and check that stuff out. But uh, anyway, my name is Jason James. I'm the director of Dirty Bomb. And uh, thanks for watching.